Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap-up tier list with the occasional random ranking and game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. So season two of Oni Murders in the Building wrapped August 23rd. We got 10 wonderful episodes on Hulu. This is a Hulu original. Oni Murders in the Building is actually one of my current favorite TV series. Absolutely love it. We have the amazing Martin Short, Steve Martin, and Selena Gomez. Now, what has happened this season in the wonderful, beautiful Arconia Hotel? Not hotel. <laughs> Not a hotel. Oh my god, Bonnie would absolutely murder me season so that's technically not a spoiler you guys letting you know that bonnie died because of course she died at the end of season one so um does it still hold up season two like what what's going on with these people trying to solve this murder like who did it i don't know i'm not gonna tell you you're gonna have to watch it to what to find out who murdered uh bonnie this season so of course we ended season one finding out who murdered tim kono and then they were celebrating not even 24 hours later and then somebody murdered bunny and now they are trying to frame our lovely lovely trio i will let you know we do have a season three green lighted as well just like in season one um we do get that death happening in season two at the very end so then now we know what we're going to be trying to solve in season three we have michael Rappenport, who is a detective. I don't think he was in season one. I don't believe so. He might have been in season one. I feel like it was the other detective though, only. Y'all can always correct me down below, of course, in the comment section, but I feel like we just saw him in this season. We have a new surprise um, celebrity guest who's taking over Sting's apartment. Why do I keep calling it? Yeah, it is apartment. Okay, I said it right. Lord, I was about to say hotel. Okay, so of course Sting was her celebrity, like top guest person in season one he moved out he was going off tour we got somebody else was it top notch no it was kind of a downgrade from sting obviously who we got i'm not gonna say who uh i can't remember if that person was in the trailer or not but you know we're trying to not get too many spoilers do love her I don't love her i like her i i do like her i'm, I'm that's love is too much okay i like her Sometimes. Depends on what they're doing. Kara is a possible struggling artist, you know, living the New York life, trying to draw inspiration. And, and, and then we have a love connection forming uh, with Mabel. I wasn't totally here for their love connection. I honestly felt that it was a little bit too forced. And it just, to me, didn't flow naturally. It was just something that was written in there to be incorporated to give us a little some extra different whatever for the character of Mabel. Not all 10 episodes fully worked for me. There definitely was a fluff episode there. I don't even remember what episode it was. It was just a little bit too fluffy, but it was focused on Mabel and her past with her father. I did absolutely adore <laughs> the continuation of the relationship between Jan and, <laughs> and Charles, even though at the end, Charles was kind of like being forced into this relationship. like. Why would you think we're broken up? It's a whole podcast, you guys. Okay, it's Only Murders in the Building. It's their podcast. They're literally solving crimes before the cops do because apparently the cops can't be bothered. Can you know? I mean, they can be bothered. I mean, at the end, I guess it's kind of pure luck, but they're like a bunch of little like Nancy Drews kind of happening and going on. And uh, yeah, I definitely still enjoy and love this series. Uh, before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. If you've seen season two of Only Murders in the Building, let me know down below what you think about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Season two was still wonderful, but, but, I feel season one was still definitely a better season. I don't know, it was just something different, like a whodunit, comedic way. I don't know, it just worked very, very well. And it was very surprising like I, I i mean i don't know why it was surprising i mean we have a great cast but that doesn't always mean that it's gonna be great with all that of course of course of course i'm gonna say you need to binge this series it is absolutely wonderful if you haven't seen season one definitely just binge the whole season one season two you know maybe season three could be the end because i don't know how many more murders can ha i mean obviously more murders can happen 
get murdered all the time, especially in New York. No offense to New York, I'm not trying to say, but you know, it's a very, very dangerous place, but everywhere is dangerous, right? Did you guess who the killer was, you guys, beforehand? Because honestly, that person was never in my radar. I mean, that could kind of be a clue for you that whatever. Uh, but yeah, all right, guys, that's it for me today. Until next time, um, I'll see you guys at the sessions. Bye.